Thank you for all these lovely comments. I really appreciate that and I mean this. I don't know man, I read these every day. You guys are just the best. I wanna get into the video, otherwise I I'm gonna take like one hour just speaking about the comments. So the other day I made this video showing you guys five golden breaks but unfortunately I had to take that video down uh, due to a music copyright uh, claim Stri no claim yeah I was about to say strike but also I was not commentating or that so you guys were saying like I mean you're not understanding completely you should tell us like in depth what I should do so I was like okay I'm gonna make another one you're just gonna win the game right on the break let's go alright guys so we are using a low power Q now in this method, um, you don't have to change the position of the cue ball. Notice the position of the cue ball is just exactly the same as it is like by default when you get the break. So you don't have to change the position. The only thing that you gotta look for is the aim and the spin. All right, so I'm just gonna get you to the aim in just a second. Notice how notice what the aim is. I think it's gonna be a bit more. Yup, this this i think i have zoomed in the video now you can see this is the exact aim i mean obviously in low power cues the aim is very uh, low so you can just get an idea about you know this line that is extending i mean the cue balls aim so you can get an idea with that so this is gonna be the aim now we're gonna jump onto the spin all right so i think my logic says this is top spin but little bit like slightly to the left I don't know why I think I'm pretty sure about that this is not exactly top this is just a little bit to the left or maybe I'm wrong but I, I think this is it so on the break if you're gonna do it this way okay full power full power and the nine ball is gonna go over right there now don't think that it went in because of the solids yellow it's gonna go in and you can win the game straight away like this but I recommend you guys like do not just go into a million coins room and do this first go to the 50 coins room and try this as much as possible not only this break but the further breaks that I'm gonna show you guys let us go it's time for number two all right guys number second uh, now in this one we are using a moderately powered Q. so in the in the first one I showed you guys with a low power Q. now this time we are gonna use a moderately powered Q, the ice Q, which is like uh, just medium in terms of force aim span time and everything so after this I'm gonna get to those uh, very high powered cues as well so I'm gonna show you guys everything so now let us see what the position is in this one the position is the key okay no this is not the position yes this is a position now if you want to adjust the position look at this a circle I'm gonna call it circle I think for if people don't know look at this thing yellow circle you have to keep the cue ball just in straight line right in straight line with this uh, yellow circle diamond whatever and you don't have to use any spin you don't have to change the aim at all so this is very very simple if you can adjust your position properly let us see what happens we're not changing the aim no spin and boom now the person who told me this break said that uh, it is like a chance that you're gonna hit some other ball instead of the red ball to the nine ball so it's not necessary that you're gonna hit the uh, red ball only to the nine ball but whatever once again practice as much as you can in 50 coin rooms let us go to number three alright guys so in this one we have to notice about the position aim as well as the spin right now number one thing position now uh, I think the best way to make you guys understand the position of the cue ball is you notice at this brown line over here I think I'm gonna mark that while editing you have to place the cue ball slightly below just very slightly below that I think you guys are getting an idea what I'm saying just slightly below that now number two thing aim so it doesn't require any scientist to tell you that the aim is slightly tilted towards the right hand side you just notice uh, it's it's like cutting the green balls uh, border slightly and you can see the purple ball completely stuff like that you guys should make an idea out of this but this is the aim now spin okay spin is very important in this thing because if you're using a low power cue like we're using in this one the sheep cue you have to use uh, like top right spin but not extremely right just a little bit of right and I mean you can, you can just see that now if you're using a high power cue 
just use a little less spin. The direction of the spin should be the same, but you know, you have to just reduce the spin, the magnitude of the spin. So let us see, once again, full force, and let us see what happens. There you go. This is an awesome break as well. Now, I'm not so sure if, you're gonna, if you guys are gonna find this break the best or the number one break that I'm gonna show you guys, but this is an amazing break once again. You have a very clear chance of the cue ball hitting up and then coming down, hitting the yellow ball, and you know, I mean, nine ball, and that's it. Number two. All right, guys, so we are using a high power cue this time, but keep one thing in mind. Uh, this is definitely going to work with low powered cues as well. And my logic says it's going to work with moderately powered cues as well, like the ice cue or the neon cue, zombie cue, stuff like that, with epic cues. This should work. My logic says that, but for high powered and low powered cues, I'm sure this should work. So let's see what the position is. I'm going to show you the aim. So what do you have to do? The adjusting the position in this one is very easy. Just take the cue ball, drag it to the top left hand uh, pocket, and you're done. Just extremely over there. Now the aim. Okay, this is the aim, guys. This is the aim. I think I'm I'm going to zoom in the video. This is the aim that you have to select. Now notice, like uh, this is this is actually pretty simple. Now, the moment your aim turns red, red colored, like when it says invalid, just change the cue and to the to the least point where it is like valid, like this. And I think we'll be done. So now let us see how are we gonna adjust the spin. Once again, we have to be careful about the spin. This is the spin, my god, I just messed up again, but no ways. So the spin is uh, not, not full right. I mean, it's full right, but it's slightly up, so. I don't know how to describe this thing, but I think you guys can practically tell. Now one thing, notice one thing, if you're using a low powered cue, use full right spin. Don't care for the top spin because the top spin is only used over here after the break now to, you know, decide where the cue ball is going to go. So use maximum right spin, that's going to give the uh, the blue ball, like, um, I, I can't describe it like this, I don't know, <laughs> like a turn so that the nine ball is going to go in the pocket. Let us play. Full power, full power, once again, full power is gonna go there. This is the most used golden break, and I'm pretty sure if you guys play nine ball pool too much, you have already seen this break. Alright guys, number one. Now, the first time I saw this break on the Bug 8 Ball Pool channel, alright, but then I started seeing other people do the break as well, so I don't know if he invented this break or not, but I like this break a lot, but uh, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna, I mean, what are your impressions about this? So the cue ball position is to the extreme bottom. You just need to slide the cue ball to the extreme bottom, that's it, no physics needed. Now the aim, the aim, once again, I'm saying the aim of this thing is the most important thing. Guys, my uh, phone's battery is below 5%. We can't use the camera anymore, but so we used backspin, complete backspin. Now notice, if you're using a low-powered cube, moderately-powered cube, or a high-powered cube, it doesn't matter. You have to use backspin. The aim, once again, needs to be exactly this way. No matter which cube you're using, you have to adjust the aim this way. Now, let us see what happens. It's gonna put the 9-ball with some style. Let us see. Full power, full power, full power, right? There you go. This is one of the, this is actually the best break, I think, of 9 ball pool that I've seen. It always goes in the top left pocket, no flukes or nothing. Personally, this is my favorite break of 9 ball pool. But I don't know about you guys, I think most people are gonna find number uh, 3 the best i can't say for sure but if you guys did enjoy this video guys drop a like i'm gonna appreciate that so so much you guys are once again awesome for the amazing comments support like and everything and i think i'm gonna see you guys in the next video maybe tomorrow or the after tomorrow i can't say for now but i'm gonna see you guys in the next one take care For the sky and nothing's falling down